Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, obviously, today we're going to get into Wild the Fury preview and prediction. Um, but before we do, please like and subscribe, share all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blocks. Um, comes at you twice a day, uh, twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Guys, y'all guessed it, Wilder Fury 3, preview and prediction. Um, okay, so Fury came in at 277, the highest of his career. Wilder came in at 238. Now, he's almost a 240-pound heavyweight now. I remember when he fought Ortiz, he was 212. Okay. Um, I'm not suggesting foul play or anything like that, but his body, his upper body, his chest, his, his biceps, looks a lot thicker, look a lot heavier. He looks like he's really carrying that 238. He looks like a lot bigger than he did at 212. Um, so he's no longer a small heavyweight. I mean, six, 240, 6'7", six, six, 240, it's, big, it's a big boy. Um, Fury, 6'9", almost 280. No more 260, no more 270. We're almost up to a, a full 280. We have a 280-pound heavyweight and a 240-pound heavyweight. That's 520 pounds of heavyweight in the ring. Um, big boy. Now, Fury, 6'9", six, six, 240. It's unique. What he can do, the way he can move, he can flick that jab and move around the ring. Um, and obviously, he has enough pop to knock Fury out. I mean, to knock Wilder out, knock him down twice. Look, I I, I I, think Wilder will be more competitive in this fight. I think he'll do better. I think he'll use the jab better. I think he'll, he'll be able to maintain distances at points with his jab. Um, I think he'll, you know, he'll have moments with the right hand. I don't think it will be as dominant as Fury's last win, but I picked Fury the first time. I picked Fury the second time. I'm going to pick Fury the third time. Um. You know, it, it's going to be hard to beat Wilder on points because can you stay on your feet for all 12 rounds? That's kind of the one thing, right? Like, Wilder's still nothing to play with. Yes, he got dominated by Tyson Fury the last time out. Absolutely. Um, but this guy has knocked out every other fighter he's ever fought. Think about that. That's not easy to do. I mean, you guys are going to knock his resume. Okay, he's fought real guys, real heavyweights, Ortiz, Severn, Brazil, those are real heavyweights. You may not like them. You may not think they're the greatest thing in the world, but they're real, real heavyweights. They're good fighters. They're, you know, they're solid heavyweights. He's knocked them all out. You know, did Fury knock out Otto Valeen? No. Is Otto Valeen the greatest heavyweight in the world? No. You know, um, you know, Fury didn't knock out a lot of guys. Wilder's knocked them all out besides Fury, and he almost knocked Fury out. So, look, if, 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 Fury is not 100% focused. If he's not 100% on point, he can and will get knocked out by Deontay Wilder. You know, Wilder kind of says it right. They got to be perfect for 12 rounds. I got to be perfect for two seconds. Yeah. It's not far from reality. Okay? So, even though Wilder is not the best heavyweight in the world, Fury and, and Usyk is, he's still nothing to play with. He can still win this fight. He can still knock out Fury if Fury gets lackadaisical in there. Um, but you know, I, I think it's not crazy to think Wilder gets a knockout. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. I'm not going to pick it, right? I'm going to pick Fury. Um, I think Fury dominates most of the rounds. I do think Wilder's more competitive. I do think Wilder figures some things out, although it's not enough. Um, I think, you know, the third time in, um, I, I think both guys know what they're expecting. I, I do think that Malik Scott, it's not. A, it's an interesting pick. It, it wasn't what we were expecting, but I don't think it's a bad pick. I think he'll have a Wilder in, in, in excellent shape with an excellent game plan. But I, ultimately, I think right now, what Fury offers with his size and speed and ability, moves like a middleweight when he's six nine. 
you know, it, it, it's unique. So um, I'm going to pick Fury again. I'm going to pick him. Um, I, you know, I think he breaks him down. I'm going to say ninth round knockout. No, I'm going to say 10th round knockout. 10th round knockout, uh, Tyson Fury. I think he gets later into the fight. Um, I think Fury wins most of the rounds, dominates most of the fight with, with his jab. He does good work on the inside. Um, he hurts Wilder a bunch of times. I think Wilder has moments. I think Wilder may hurt him at times, right? Um, he just has less moments, right? Wilder's going to have moments, you know, um, but he's just going to have less moments than Fury. And then Fury will eventually break him down, you know, with that 280 pound body, just wear him down, wear him out, and stop him. I'm going to say in the 10th round. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Please also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, leave your comments below. Uh, give me your predictions. Let me know what y'all think. Um, it is October 8th, 2021. Tomorrow is October 9th, um, 2021. Wild of Fury 3. Um, Leave your comments below. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.